Saudi Arabia has issued a royal order allowing women to drive, bringing an end to a long-standing tradition in the kingdom. I'm joined by the FT's deputy editor, Rula Khalaf, to discuss the significance of the decision. Rula, what exactly did King Salman decide and why? Well, late last night, the king issued a decree um, that says that women will be allowed to have driving uh, licenses as of June 2018. And in the meantime, regulations have to be prepared and essentially women have to learn how to drive and get, uh, get licenses. So this is a decision that people have been waiting for for years, for decades. Whenever you went to Saudi Arabia, one of the first questions that people asked uh, Saudi authorities is, when will women drive? So it has huge symbolic uh, significance. Now, is it the first and most important thing that Saudi women want? Not necessarily. Some women have campaigned for a very long time um, to be able to drive. But there are so many uh, egregious restrictions on, on Saudi women that that was not really the first demand. The most important thing that they want to get rid of is uh, the requirements that they have to have an agent for anything they do. If they go to government offices, if they want to start a business, if they want to work, they have to have a male guardian sign in for them, essentially, and giving, giving them permission and facilitating. Now, that regulation was partly changed earlier this, uh, this year, but uh, that's still not enough. There's a lot more to be done. So why did the king do this now, and how does this fit into the broader strategy of Mohammed bin Salman, the very, very powerful crown prince in Saudi Arabia? Well, I see this as ticking uh, quite a few boxes uh, based on what this new regime in Saudi Arabia is trying to do. So since King Salman took over two years ago, um, he's had two objectives. One is to transform uh, Saudi Arabia. I, I call it sort of normalize Saudi Arabia and uh, change the economy, which is so heavily dependent on oil, uh, and, and plan for a future in which Saudi will be able to work, will have enough jobs where there is more sustainable growth uh, that is not so dependent uh, on oil. So that's one uh, objective. And women, uh, allowing women to drive is falls as part of this objective because women today have to be driven by mostly foreign workers in Saudi Arabia who are with them in the car, although there are very strict segregation rules in, in the kingdom. And so it, what the Saudis need to do to transform the economy is uh, have fewer foreign workers and more Saudis working. Unemployment is massive uh, for, for Saudi women. That's one objective. The second objective has to do with Mohammed bin Salman, the king's favorite son. Uh, he's, or he wants him to be the next king. There is a lot of talk that he may actually even abdicate and put him on the throne before the end of, of this year. Uh, now, already, Mohammed bin Salman has been elevated to crown prince. He has been um, an engine for change, social and economic change, but not political change, and that is important. Uh, so part of what he and his father have been, have been doing is to clip the wings of um, of the Saudi clerics on whom they have rely, on whom the royal family has relied for so long. But some people s see this move and the timing in particular of this move as, uh, as a distraction because there's been uh, a crackdown on dissent in the last few weeks. That's gotten Saudi Arabia uh, bad press. I don't think a lot of international pressure but certainly it has had an impact on, on the image of, of Saudi Arabia and on this reformist image that uh, Saudi Arabia has been trying to develop. And so this, obviously, everybody's been waiting for this decision. The State Department issued uh, uh, congratulations right away. This is going to take uh, away the attention on, uh, on the crackdown. But I don't think that that is the main mot motivation. And I think that regardless, uh, I think for Saudi women, because it is so symbolic, this is an important decision. Of course, there's still many other restrictions that will have to be addressed. Rula Khalaf, thank you very much indeed.